right everyone, hope you're doing well today. Tarantula Dan here. I'm going to be doing a really quick video today on two things. Firstly is the beetle grubs. People have been asking me to do an update on those, so that's what I'll be doing first. And then I'll be giving you an update on the crabs. So, to begin with, I did have nine of these grubs, although I have sifted through the communal and got them out to separate them. Um, and unfortunately, as, as at the moment, there are only five so there may be more in there but I can't see there being any to be fair I did have a good look but there's always a chance now uh, these go from largest to smallest now I'm not going to get them all out but I'm going to show you I'll just sort of get these two out so these are giant um, flower beetles they are an absolutely gorgeous species you can see I've got all the um, the substrate in there I've actually left some woodlouse in there as well the reason for that is for the uh, protein for the uh, for the lava as well as all the you know nasty stuff so I'll just sort of dig this out and it's actually surprising how fast these move like they really do uh, they really do sort of uh, move through the dirt they remind me of um, twin mold from Jaws Mask, if you've ever played that game, although these don't come out and fly all over the place. Oh, there it is. So there we go. Okay, then, so here's uh, one of the beetle lava. You can see how big it is, it's not that big. Um, obviously, it's full of dirt and uh, all nasty, icky stuff. And they do this kind of cool little kind of wiggle <laughs> to move around. Um, and the four of these are all about this size. So not that big, you can see how they move. They do kind of do this like a little wiggle. I'm just gonna put that back there and you can just watch how long it takes for that to, uh, watch how long it takes for that to disappear back into the substrate. It doesn't, it doesn't take it too long at all. So yeah, four of them are of that size. So, not massive. But the reason I separated them, as I said, I wanted to see how many I had and wanted to keep them individually. Because obviously these do eat, they will eat, eat each other. I believe they have. I'm not pointing fingers at these four. I'm pointing fingers at this one. This is the largest of the grubs that I have. I'm gonna keep. I'm not going to use that because this probably won't be that won't be that big. Um, I did, if you uh, joined me on Discord the other day, I did sort of get this out to show some people. Then uh, this one is much bigger. <laughs> Get the size of that one. So uh, yeah, this one is much much bigger. I did a video on a beetle ages and ages ago. Um, need to focus on the. Need to focus on it. Okay. I did a video on one of these a while ago. I think I called it a face only a mother could love. Um, so yeah, they do have these very big, very big jaws. And you can see how big that is. Um, I mean, in comparison to how big the other one was. Um, in fact, there you go. For size comparison, so there's this big one here, and this is one of the smaller ones. The four of them are all about this size. There's not a not a bad difference there. So this is the one that I think has been eating the others. I'll put that one back. Um, yeah, I believe that the larger one has been eating the other lava, as well as probably some of the other inverts that I had in there. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to see whether this one is a male or a female. So this is the largest of the grubs, and I thought that some of you might enjoy seeing how they are getting on and would certainly enjoy this one because it is pretty big 
obviously I reckon these will probably be ready um, in the spring next year so uh, hopefully I'll have some more updates on those in a few months I won't be bothering these now I will literally put them into their um, their enclosures and we'll leave them alone until they emerge so and for anyone that wonders what they feel like um, they feel kind of um, kind of rubbery I suppose very strange so yeah that is a look at the uh, all of my beetle larva or at least that's a look at two of them and uh, I will give you a quick update on the crab okay everyone so this is a look at the crab now you might be wondering what on earth is going on in sort of this picture and to answer the, your sort of your your questions uh, one of the crabs died now if you remember I had two crabs the one crab bullied the other one it bullied this one which is why I separated them uh, this crab lost one claw and four legs um, altogether which was obviously I wasn't too happy about hence why I separated them um, for some reason even though these are kept the same and fed the same and all that kind of stuff the other one did die unfortunately and so I thought this would be a good way to tell you that I only have one crab at the moment uh, I put the crab in with this crab to see whether or not it would eat it and well as you can see by the picture there isn't sort of a lot left it did eat it um, there is obviously this there's a bit of claw left um, bits of leg but pretty much you know the rest of the crab is um, is inside this one here and I kind of think that's pretty cool because it's kind of like that karma you know the the other crab was eating bits of this one and then it ended up um, obviously this one was the, un the like the underdog and then it sort of came out the last one standing and actually ended up eating the rest of it so um, I don't know why that other crab died I'm not too sure to be fair but I thought it would be worth sharing with you so if you want an update on the crabs it will from now on just be the one and as you can see it's still doing really really well it's active um, it molted obviously not too long ago and we grew back the legs it's eating fantastically this is the same one that it actually ate the um, it actually ate the um, the scorpion and then after the after we ate the scorpion about two days later I put the, uh, put the put the other crab in and obviously it's eating all of that as well so yeah it is doing really really well you see it's uh, so Daisy please don't pinch me I'm sure it probably will because that's what these do a pinch of this isn't that bad to be fair I've had worse but yeah so uh, just the one crab now please don't pinch me there because that's going to really hurt <laughs> You go. So uh, yeah, so there's a grab, just the one left, but doing very very well. I'll be rehousing this now into the other enclosure, which I'm going to clean it all out and get it all done nicely for this one because he's a little survivor. And yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this sort of quick video. There are other videos coming up, some pretty awesome ones. So of course, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you aren't already so you don't miss those and stay tuned I have some very very cool stuff coming up on my channel that I think you'll all enjoy um, to do with in uh, inverts animals in general and just just lots of cool different things that I hope you'll sort of support me with so um, as always thank you for watching everyone take care and I'll see you soon in the next video